You can earn your stripes as a bounty hunter in Starfield's least organized and thus most freeing faction. As a bounty hunter, you play largely by your own rules, and for the most part, you're doing the Settle Systems a solid service. As you might expect, the line between good and evil tends to blur, but so long as you can sleep at night, you should be happy with the, well, bountiful credits. In this video, we'll show you how you can accept bounties, as well as an overview of what to anticipate along the way. So, if you want to go on bounty hunts, you need to find the mission terminals. Perhaps the biggest surprise here is that you don't need to interact with the Trackers Alliance terminals, despite the fact that you're essentially joining up with the Trackers Alliance. There's a mission board to your left on the way past the security checkpoint in New Atlantis, but we recommend you wait until you reach Cydonia early in the main quest before checking into all this. Starfield drops a ton of gameplay mechanics in your direction early on and Cydonia has a woman with the Trackers Alliance to your left on your way in. She'll not only tell you about bounty hunts, but even offers a quest that will be missed if you don't engage with her. She'll also point you to the nearest mission board, which is just outside the Broken Spear Bar. Look for the twin kiosks near the entrance, and interact with the mission board, and you're ready to begin. From the footage on screen, you can see what the mission board interaction UI is like. You'll see mission names and rewards, and when you hover over one, you'll get details on what exactly the mission entails. Note that bounty hunts are merely one of several different mission types, including cargo and survey opportunities. Our personal favourites are the bounties involving destroying ships, rather than killing individuals down on planetary surfaces. Ship bounties are generally faster, since you simply fly into orbit at the appropriate spot, target the craft and blow it to smithereens. Just be sure that you don't get blown up in the process. Ship combat can be difficult in the frontier, without skill ranks and a good crew will make it even harder. But once you've got a good ship and the skills to back it up, this is easy stuff. If you're aiming for someone on a world, you might need to do some legwork to reach your destination. Though it's not unlike typical planetary exploration, on the plus side, you'll probably get plenty additional credits while you're out hunting down your foes. So, that's a guide to getting started as a bounty hunter in Starfield. I'm Luke Gould, thanks for watching, and check out thegamer.com for more.